welcome friends. Today we will be talking about CFCs and how they affect the environment. When I say CFCs, I am not talking about cage fighting championships. No, my friends. I am talking about chlorofluorocarbons. Ozone is a form of oxygen. An ozone molecule consists of three oxygen atoms. An ordinary oxygen gas molecule has two oxygen atoms. Most ozone is found in the upper atmosphere, where it is produced in small amounts, when the sun's high energy rays strike ordinary oxygen molecules. The ozone molecules in the upper atmosphere absorb most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays before they reach the Earth. These rays can cause skin cancer and other health problems. A group of gases called chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, may pose a threat to the ozone layer. Chlorofluorocarbons are chemical compounds made up of atoms of chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. CFCs are used as refrigerants and to make plastic foam insulation. Because they are gases, CFCs can escape from poorly sealed containers into the atmosphere. Once CFCs are in the upper atmosphere, scientists believe that chain reactions occur that destroy ozone. First, high energy ultraviolet rays make chlorine atoms free from the CFC molecule. These free chlorine atoms can react with other molecules in the atmosphere. When a chlorine atom reacts with an ozone molecule, it steals one of the ozone molecule's three oxygen atoms, forming a molecule of chlorine monoxide. The remaining two oxygen atoms form an ordinary oxygen molecule. In this way, an ozone molecule is destroyed. Chlorine monoxide reacts easily with single oxygen atoms in the atmosphere, giving a free chlorine atom that can destroy more ozone. Scientists estimate that one chlorine atom can destroy as many as 100,000 ozone molecules. Yes, friends, there are many sources of CFC pollutants still around even today. These dangerous pollutants may include shaving cream, some hair sprays, fire extinguishers, chlorine for swimming pools, aerosol cleaning solvents, fast food cartons, old air conditioners, and some new ones, old refrigerators, auto air conditioning systems, and improperly disposed of refrigerants. These guys may also be huge contributors to the ozone hole. That looks like a lot of fun. Please remember it is never ever funny or responsible to knowingly vent CFCs into the air. <laughs> I'm trying to destroy the hours on layer. So like that we don't get no more snow, no more rain and no, <laughs> no more no more <laughs> what anything. What is this? Like that I'm trying to destroy what, what the to do? Right, so like that we don't get any more snow. <laughs> this is CFCs, my Igor. But it's Igor. Yes. This is CFCs, you see you spray like that. No, but it's too much in the in the, in the lab. The contribution that CFCs have in the depletion of the ozone layer is catastrophic. Look at how global warming is affecting our world. The polar ice caps are melting. The winter ice is much thinner in this region than it has been in previous years. This is due to global warming which is affecting this polar bear's very existence. Global warming has caused dramatic global climate change which in turn has impacted the lives and existence of many living creatures around the world. <laughs> Is there anything that we can do to stop these CFCs from destroying our environment? I want to see polar bears happy again. Well friend, there are some things that you can do to help. Very simple things. Start by having a professional check your vehicle air conditioning systems for leaks regularly and also make sure your vehicle's HVAC system has been retrofitted to R134A. There are many resources that will claim they can show you how to recharge, evacuate and service your vehicle's air conditioning system at home. This largely contributes to the release of harmful toxins into the air. Do not follow the Lee Bob's AC service for dummies. Please consult a vehicle HVAC specialist and have them tend to your automobile heating and cooling needs.
If you suspect a refrigerant leak in your vehicle, you must take it to a professional immediately. Store-bought Stobley products can actually cause further damage to your system. So let's recap. CFCs are harmful chemicals that destroy the ozone layer. They contribute to global warming, and they are still around today even after a month re all protocol. Please be responsible when choosing products or servicing HVAC equipment. Our future could depend on it. Although most CFCs have been mainly replaced by hydrochlorofluorocarbons or HFCs, the environmental impact is still nothing to be ignored. These penguins seem to have lost their way. Their cooler migratory path has melted. In previous years this would have been an arctic paradise for these fine penguins. This again is caused by global warming, the direct effect of the introduction of CFCs and HFCs into the environment. Well, our work here is done. I hope that we have helped you gain a better understanding of CFCs and HFCs and their effect on the environment. Now that you know some ways to help reduce your carbon footprint, I can only hope that you have enough respect for future generations that you can be responsible with your use and disposal of these harmful CFCs and HFCs. Thank you.